Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium, the site of tonight's matchup between the Tiffin Columbian Tornadoes and the Norwalk Truckers. I'm Nate Mullins on the call with Tommy Hall. We've got the wizard Greg Kinn on the ones and twos, and we've got Zach Blythe on the overhead camera. Thanks for tuning in here on the pregame show right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. We've got two classic, I mean, this is a classic NOL rivalry here, Tommy. It's Norwalk and Tiffin Columbian, no strangers to each other. The truckers come into town. I mean, they're rolling right now. They're playing pretty good basketball as we get ready to go into tournament time. The Tiffin Columbian struggling as of late, but looking to rebound here tonight against the truckers. Absolutely, the truckers are rolling as they come into Tornado Alley, but the tornado season has seemingly jackknifed after starting off an impressive six and one, going down the pike to eight and three, and since then they, a seven game drought has hit the tornadoes, but as you know with Travis Kinn and these uh, squads of the past, it's not about where you start, it's about where you finish, and as you get back towards the back nine, the final four games of the regular season, Tiffin Columbian really has to establish who they are as a team as they get ready to go into the postseason if they're expected to make a long, make a big run and when it comes tournament time. Hey, you're absolutely right, Tommy. Let's take a moment and thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here tonight, because without them, we wouldn't be, folks. We want to thank Chanette Mexican Restaurant, your legacy federal credit union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Plastinite 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric, all proud sponsors right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. And Tommy is where they're introducing these two teams. Of course, the Tim and Columbian introduction, you got the fireflies in the background, and the, there's a spotlight on the, obviously this is gonna be their second to last home game here tonight. So this is gonna mean a lot to these seniors as they get prepared for tournament time. They're getting ready, and they're getting rounded into shape, and they really wanna get this one here tonight because Tommy, that would really kind of set them in the right direction going forward because right now they need to get corrected. And I tell you what, if the tribute to the Windy City Greats doesn't get you motivated during those player introductions, I don't know what will. But we're getting ready to uh, tip off here live from Tornado Alley in Tiffin, Ohio. And that tip off sponsors, sponsored by Steinman Signs and Graphic Ink, Nate. we we'll just get this one started, Nate. Don't forget, again, tonight, at extra Again, that free appetizer offer going on if you come out and watch the game. That's right. Extra at Mexican Restaurant offering a free appetizer. And that opening tip brought to you by Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. Tiffin Columbian controls the opening possession. We're underway here at Tornado Alley. And the set and Extra, they take such good care of our Hoos fans to head out there, get that free appetizer, and uh, free chips and salsa on me. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> Tom, Tom, All the Tom. chips and salsa you can eat. Tommy, let's talk keys to the game, brought to you by Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation. Of course, we talked about Tim and Columbian's record coming into this one, but they're currently on the season shooting about 53% from the floor, averaging about 55 per game. At, uh, from the three-point arc, decent at 31%, tied for third in the SBC Lake, but it's the free throw line that has really been the hard spot for Tiffin Columbian this year. It's been difficult for them as they're shooting just 56% or 55% on the season from the line. So that's going to be the opportunity. I think that's a key for them tonight. Capitalize on opportunities. Transition baskets, free throws. They've really got to take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves, especially second chance opportunities. Oh, absolutely. As uh, Norwalk takes the lid off the basket, and that's where that senior leadership comes into play with guys like Isaac Garcia, who's able to give you a great production down low, and if he sees something he doesn't like, he puts it out to the wing, but like you talked about, those keys to the game for the Colombian Tornadoes, it's going to be taking those opportunities, doing what the opponent Want to get a double team now here as a Norwalk really pressed from the outside perimeter. 2 0 Norwalk here, 6 30 left to play here in the first quarter. We'll go through the starting lineups for both teams as number 22, Garrett DeMuth, knocks that one down and gives the Truckers a 4 0 lead. 
here to start this one. For Norwalk, I think the key to the game for them tonight, dominate the glass, rebound, get those second chance opportunities, and that's really where they excel. They're long, they're lengthy, and they present matchup problems for a lot of teams in the, in the uh, SBC Lake. So that's going to be something to keep an eye on here tonight. If they can win that rebounding battle here, I think they have a pretty good chance of winning this game here tonight, Tommy. Both these teams very evenly contested. They got some tall bodies. It's just how you incorporate it. Tiffin Columbian, you know, they just got to get back to when they were on that first stretch of the season. And, you know, you don't want to regress, but you want to go with what worked during that initial run. And you talk about some of those statistics and those keys of the game. Bop does gamble. Takes a gamble at the basket. I think I say double dribble there. Is that what that was? That was a double dribble called against Mitch Steffi there. But look, that, to, go ahead. But to me, those stat lines, them a little fifty-three percent from the field. You know, those are all numbers that you. Those are goals that you kind of set after, for yourself during the game. You want to be fifty percent or better from the field. It just shows you what a gauntlet and what a meat grinder schedule this Columbia Tornado goes through each and every season. And. I mean, again, iron sharpens iron, and that's why Tiffin Columbia historically has been known to make some tournament runs. This guy catch fire at the right time, Nate. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Tommy. Of course, Tiffin Columbia, we mentioned, averaging about 55 points a game. Norwalk comes into this one averaging 51.1, but they're only giving up 47 and a half points. That defense, especially in league play, is the best that you've seen in this area oh, as oh. Isaac Garcia. Knocks that one down, but Tommy in league play. These truckers only giving up 28.7 points per game. That leads the SBC Lake. Smothering defense. <laughs> and a travel called. We've seen some great defenses this season. I don't know if we saw any that good in, yeah. in league play. That's pretty tight. <laughs> Of course, Tiffin Columbia coming in, we mentioned at 8 and 10 overall, but 3 and 4 in league play. Norwalk, 11 and 7 overall record, also 3 and 4 within the league play. So, both of these teams, I mean, this SB, SBC Lake is a gauntlet this year. As Mitch Steffi pulls up from three, unable to get that one to go, it goes out of bounds off the backboard, and last touch by Norwalk. Starting five for Tiffin Columbia here tonight. Number zero, Brady Gooding. Number one, Zach Shawberry. Number two, Bryce Rogo. Number three, Mitch Steffi, who's checking out as Logan Gooding checks into the ball game. And number 22, Isaac Garcia. That's your starting five for the Tiffin Columbian Tornadoes. And we'll get to the Norwalk Truckers here in just a moment as that one no good on the drive by Jack Newlove. But he's gonna earn himself a trip to the free throw line. Brought to you by Buckeye IT Services. And now let's take a look at that starting five for the Norwalk Truckers. As tonight, number four, Mason Gamble. Number five, Landon Ferkel. Number 12, Dalton Chapin. Number 22, Garrett DeMuth. And number 24, Ben Rothar. That's your starting five for the Norwalk Truckers. Of course, the Truckers come into this one with three different players averaging double figures on the season. Gets the second one to go there. And Jack Newlove ties the game at four apiece. Down low, that's Mason Gamble. That shot no good. And a rebound grabbed by Bryce Yo Rogo. Oh, that shot no good. Gamble grabs the rebound for the Truckers. A pull-up oh, shot nice. from the wing is good by Dalton Chapin. Put. Chapin coming into this one averaging 10 points per game. Second on the Truckers. And I know Stephen Columbia is trying to, trying to invite the pressure to the outside. outside. New love! As you see multiple three-point attempts, trying to draw defenders out from inside the paint. Because we know how smothering that trucker defense is. 
down low as Shawberry nowhere to go. Logan getting. Tornadoes. Three for four but from beyond the arc here to start this one in the first quarter. Down low, no good from oh, wow. Rothar. Gets his rebound, puts it back up, no good, but he's fouled on the putback attempt. That'll earn him a trip to the free throw line. Ben Rothar averaging just under nine points per game coming into this one, but leads the SBC Lake in rebounds per game as he's bringing in about eight and a half rebounds per game for the Truckers. Pretty solid averages right there. Just about a double-double of the season for the junior, Ben Rothar. He gets that second one to go there, too. 10, ten to seven, Tivin Columbian on top. 225 left to play here in the first quarter. Isaac Garcia resets the offense, calls out the play from the logo. Isaac Garcia takes it at the top of the key. It's a whole different offensive set that the uh, Tornadoes like to implement. Garcia, out to get again, gets poked away. Shawberry on the recovery, takes it down low, lays it up. It bounces out into the possession of the Truckers. There's now a double team on Perriot. Forces the ball to roll outside, and the ref's going to call it in the favor of the Truckers. Saying last touch by the Tornado. Jack Newlove applying the defensive pressure there. Uh, Zach Shawberry. Already got a steal her early on here in the first quarter, applying a lot of defensive pressure here for the Tornadoes. As you see the full court press into the backcourt now for Tiffin Columbian. Jordan Perriott into the game for the Truckers. He has it now. And that's going to be traveling. Oh, wow. Against Perriott. Tiffin turning up the pressure down here. Yeah. He at least got to call Heather Huckler if he's it. playing the travel. I mean, you know. <laughs> Where's your suitcase, as the student section says, right? <laughs> 1.30 to play here in the first quarter. Mick Steffi and an off-the-ball foul. It's going to be called on Jack Newlove. We'll give the ball back to the truckers. 1.28 left. Colombian leads by three here in the first quarter. Oh, oh, oh. oh he got him a step by, but oh. unable to get the finish there is Dalton Chapin. Now the Tornadoes look to push. Brady Gooding, Garcia into the corner. Logan Gooding for three. The freshman phenom, Logan Gooding, two for two from beyond the arc here in the first quarter as Tivin Columbian with a 13-7 lead. Norwalk takes a timeout. Timeouts tonight brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. Let's use this time to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here and present this ball game to you right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. We want to thank Cadet Mexican Restaurant, your legacy federal credit union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Last Night 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric. All proud sponsors with us right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Getting ready to come out of this timeout. And Norwalk chooses to stop the bleeding for a minute at, off that 11-4 run here late in the first stanza of action for Tornado Alley. Clifford Columbia Gymnasium. Minute three seconds left. 
I think maybe this might be an adjustment to the uh, full court press being employed by Tiffin Columbia. Maybe they just said, all right, this is what we're going to do now. Oh, well, that's what I said is they they almost implored them to kind of implement the press by their attack outside the perimeter off the three. Rothar into the forecourt. Gets it over on the left wing. DeMuth had it poked away, and a foul is going to be called on Tiffin Columbia's Mitch Steffi. It'll be his first foul. When I say that these guys sized up well against each other, I meant that in a sense that this could be a very physical game. Norwalk yeah. needs to turn that intensity up. They have big bodies. They need to challenge the lane. That way they can either, wow, once again, the pesky defense by the Tornadoes results in a turnover. Mitch Steffi with the steal there for Tiffin Columbian. Because Norwalk's sending one man into like a, in, into the coverage there. He's trying to set an open look from the outside. He's got to force your way low. Play big, you know. Garcia with it at the logo. Gives it off to Shawberry. 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. Draws a double team. Over to Steffi. He loses it. Rothar with it now. Down the floor. And that one's no good. But a foul on the play as Dalton Chapin went up for the shot. Shawberry got a little too much there. Going for the Iggy block. <laughs> Chapin, senior forward, earns himself a trip to the free throw line. Brought to you by Buckeye IT Services. He's Chapin. That's a recognizable name from over there in Norwalk. That's oh, yeah. Athletes. Oh, yeah with that pedigree. Oh, Rothar as well. That's another yeah. familiar name as well. I think Rothar, he's just an eighth year senior. <laughs> he's a junior. <laughs> <laughs> what is it in the air tonight that they keep missing the first free throw and nailing the second one? I don't know, but 50% uh, is not going to get it done. <laughs> Down low for Shawberry. Nearly lost it, but he Ooh. steps on the baseline. He's going to turn it over. Two seconds left here in the first. And Truckers trail by five, looking to inbound here, get the last shot. There we are, inbound, stolen by Rogo from the, from the half court shot, no good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Tivin Columbian leading by five, 13 to eight. We'll step aside, take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults-only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre-travel and in-destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoose. We're back here at Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium, Tornado Alley. As Tiffin Columbian starts this one in the second quarter, leading 13 to eight. And Norwalk will have the basketball coming out of the break in the action here. When was the last time the Tornadoes made a basket inside the three-point arc? Hmm. That's a good question, Tommy. Other than a free throw? I believe their last nine points came from... Uh, well, all of yeah, their field goals have been three-point shots. Oh, yeah. Gooding on defense, and Rothar's shot no good. Shawberry looking to push. Gooding, cross-court Garcia, and now Shawberry pulls up from three. No good off the rim. And Gooding with the save. What a big save there by Brady Gooding. Caught Chapin napping. Oh, 
Garcia inbound under the basket for Rogo. Rogo puts it up, puts it in. Nice little left-handed baby hook there. Tremendous concentration there by Rogo. Yeah, they almost took that one from me. Let me just, uh, oh, ooh, speaking oh. of, let me just. I was uh, gonna say, that's what. <laughs> that one was wet there from Perriott. Oh! oh. Logan Gooding, three for three from downtown here in the first half. Uh, Gooding will uh, leave you on red. He'll answer back. From the right wing, Ooh. Dalton Chapin. <laughs> yeah, we have a foul on the other end of the floor here. Mason Gamble is going to get called for the foul. That's his first. And the first team foul here in the second quarter. Gooding inbound. Rogo spots up for three. Bang! Oh, oh. <laughs> Tornadoes on fire from three point land. Wow. 21 accounted for. <laughs> and that one's no good. It goes out of bounds. So much pressure in the face there. He just heaved that one right over his teammate's head. Nobody can get their hands on that. <laughs> Tornadoes came into this one on a mission. And they lead by eight here in the first half. 6.23 left in the second quarter. Garcia with it. At the logo. Right wing for Shawberry. Shawberry, Gooding, now over to Gooding. From Gooding to Gooding. It's all good. <laughs> Out of bounds, last touch by Norwalk. Wow, must have hit a quarter or something. I thought, <laughs> I thought Cormier was the last one to touch that one. That was crazy. Truckers have to take a timeout to stop the bleeding once again here. Tornadoes leading by 11, 24-13. Well, you know, Greg, you just like when you go home and visit mommy, you get a little bit home cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just saw that they didn't stop the clock <laughs> during that timeout. But they put the time back on. It's 540 left here in the second quarter. Just a 30-second timeout. Now, coming out of the timeout, what do you think the adjustment is here for Norwalk? Or do you think they wait until halftime to make any adjustments? I think you just, you, you got to take your time with your possessions. Quit turning it over down low. And Kevin Columbia has just been there for the rebound. And then pushing it in transition, finding an open man to where, again, once Columbia is able to catch up on the perimeter, they're just passing it around and finding the open look and Clum is just draining them. Norwalk, again, they're smothering down low. They want to play inside the paint. Columbia's not giving it to them. They're living and dying by the three. And, you know, sometimes when you're playing with house money, Nate, not a bad... Uh, Gooding, oh, that was in and out. <laughs> oh, he wanted that. was a heat check right there. Goodness. Brady Gooding with the steal. For BG3. Like we said, as you get in the towards the end of the season, we talk about kind of a middle of the road season. You know, you might start trying some things that again that you kind of got away from. And that, as we talk about controlled chaos, as we like to coin it, the play from three-point line, living and dying by the three. That's no stranger to what this Tiffin Columbian squad and teams have done in the past so successfully. <laughs> Brady Gooding knocks that one down. 26-13, Gooding with his first basket of the game. Brady, that is. Logan, he's got four from behind the arc already. I think I like better than Goody baskets or Gooding baskets. That's right. <laughs> Three-point shot, no good from Garrett DeMuth. Tornadoes, push it. Rogo, Open left look. wing three, no. Oh. Perry out with the rebound for the Truckers. I think that's one of the strategies, though, Nate, by the truckers is, again, be aggressive down low, be there for the rebound in case the open uh, look by the tornado don't fall through. You can cut away at a deficit pretty efficiently if you're able to come up with the uh, defensive board. That was a big-time play there by 
Dalton Chapin. Logan Gooding spots up another uh -huh. heat check there as he's unable to get that one to go. Another After starting out four for four, he's missed his last two. Chapin drives. There you go, challenge. Foul on the flame. They are going to call the blocking foul. Pretty clean ball game to start here. The oh, yeah. change of personnel is a little. The foul off the ball on Jordan Perriot. Who's the subs that came in, Nate? Uh, for Tiffin Columbian, you had Jack Newlove and Mitch Steffi checking back into the game. A little bit of respite for those guys. Logan Gooding takes a seat. Mitch Steffi. I think when you're feeling it, you just let him go. New love. Now Brady Gooding. 3.30 left to play here in the first half. Tornadoes lead by 11. Jack New love kicks it out. Now Gooding drives into the paint, puts it up. No foul on the floor before the shot. That's going to go against Garrett DeMuth. Tiffin Columbian with the ball, under the basket. Garcia with it now. Pulls it out to the logo. Isaac Garcia, handoff to Rogo. Now Gooding, back to Garcia. Kick out. That's New Love for three. Rogo tips it out, but the truckers grab it under the basket. Jordan Perriot digs it out. Into the forecourt. The sophomore forward brings it in. Now Mason Gamble with it. Had it stripped away. And they're going to call a foul on Tiffin Columbia. And that's going to go against Mitch Steffi. That'll be his first. Mason Gamble, Dalton Shapin now with it on the left wing, back to Gamble. Two fifteen left to play here in the second quarter. Chapin under the basket for Demuth. Oh, nice. nice backdoor cut there. <laughs> oh, and unable to connect, but that one was tipped by Rothar, and it goes out of bounds. I like that little pass that looked kind of like a shot down here. Look like almost sitting here like, oh, that's not a very good, oh, never mind. <laughs> that's so smooth. Oh, Garcia, oops. looking to inbound, gets it into Rogo. Now Rogo up with the shot, off the glass, Ooh. put it in. The bank is open. And Tiffin Columbian takes a timeout. 28-17 left here in the second quarter. The first National Bank is open. 28-17 Tiffin Columbian lead. And the first National Bank of Sycamore timeout here. We'll keep it right here with 154 left. We'll thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here. I want to thank Cadet Mexican Restaurant, your legacy federal credit union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Science and Graphic Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Glass and Night 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, 
Toss Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Volte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric. All proud sponsors with us right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. And folks, when you hear those names, I'm telling you, you need to keep those names in mind when you're out doing your shopping in the area. Because those are the ones that really care about this community enough to make sure that you can watch this game for free wherever you're at. So please help us out by supporting these sponsors and tell them Heart of Ohio Sports sent you. Perriott driving here. Oh, what a nice move by Jordan Perriott. Mr. Brooks once said he never hit the brakes, he was shifting gears. Shoo. Truckers trim it down to a nine point deficit. Rogo. Gives it off to Garcia at the logo. Garcia's drive, oh. no good on the drive. And the rebound grabbed by Norwalk. Let him bump down low. To move! <laughs> now it's just a six point ball game here. Well, in the times that I've witnessed Tiffin Columbian and had the privilege of calling them, this is where it gets a little hairy for the Tornadoes. They come out, they implement a good get the game plan, then they find a few different adjustments that work for them, and they kind of shy away from what got them there, and then they start to unravel when the second half goes on. In this instance, again, Tiffin Columbian, you got to go with what's working for you right now and worry about switching it up as the game progresses. Jack Newlove fouled on the shot. That'll He's, earn him a trip to the Buckeye IT Services free throw line. You can see Tornado is starting to drive the lane more yeah. often. Newlove hits the first one. And that's important. They have to try to get that ball down low. And not just to, you know, get the ball down low for a higher percentage shot, but also you can draw some fouls and try to get yourself to the free throw line like you are here. But work the foul count up on some of these big guys down low. You know, yeah, after your last four uh, three-point attempts fall short, again you have to you have to make that adjustment before you can go back to it. Shawberry with the steal and the finish. That's his first basket of the game. Perriott driving, put it up, blocked. Oh. Brady Gooding says, get that out of here. And the three-quarter court shot from Shawberry's no good at the end of the first half. Tiffin Columbian leads 31-22. We'll step aside, take a timeout. We'll come back for the halftime show live here at Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we are a truly local bank that is community-based and community-focused. We are invested in your success, and our team is here to help. First National Bank of Sycamore, banking that just makes sense. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoose. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. is here for all of your printing and design needs. From reunions to small events, to business apparel and even vehicle lettering, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State.
to start the second half as I believe Tiffin Columbian will have the possession here as we start the third quarter. Tiffin Columbian leading 31-22. Thanks to our halftime show sponsors, Good at Mexican Restaurant, one of our proud sponsors here on Heart of Ohio Sports. And I'm telling you folks, if you're watching this at home and you're thinking to yourself, man, I'm hungry. I don't want to cook anything. I don't want to do anything. And I really don't like delivery. Well, go down to go, go on out to Shkodet Mexican Restaurant. Nice drive by Brady Gooding. But going out, have a seat at the bar. They're streaming the game at the bar at Shkodet Mexican Restaurant. And you know what? While you're sitting there, you can grab yourself a free appetizer from Shkodet Mexican Restaurant during the game. So head on out. Our halftime show sponsor. As Gooding knocks that one down, converts on the three-point play. Thirty-four twenty-two. Now, Tommy, as we start the second half, what do you think the keys are for Norwalk if they want to try to chip away at this one and come back? I think again, you you kind of take away the ability of the tornadoes to come inside the uh, come inside the paint. As Tip and Colombian, they did a tremendous job with their three-point shooting, but they went a little cold there towards the end towards the end of the se second period. Norwalk needs to exploit that and keep coming away with those rebounds in order to chip away at the deficit that they found themselves in, which Down they've been low. able to chip away at it as Chapin grabs his own rebound and puts it back in. Second chance opportunities there. Dalton Chapin able to take advantage of that one. Garcia works his way to the basket, unable to finish there. Yeah, has nice defense by Landon Ferkel. Spin move pass under the basket for Ben Rothar, who finishes with a nice smooth little finger roll finish. Thirty-four twenty-six. Steffi on the left wing drives the baseline, kicks it over to the right wing. Shawberry driving under the basket, puts it up, puts it in. Zach Shawberry. That's Garrett DeMuth driving the baseline. His shot is no good, grabbed by Rogo. And Garcia looking to push it down the floor. Gooding, Rogo. Out to Shawberry. Bryce Rogo on the left wing. Back and forth between Shawberry and Rogo here. And just inside of six minutes to play in the third. Rogo gives it off to Garcia. Driving. Kick out, Rogo. <laughs> I thought he was going to take that. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> he said, no, I think we can find a better shot than that. Let's just keep working this. Bryce Rogo. Pulls it back. Working on Ben Rothar. Tornadoes have eaten up over a minute of clock here in this possession alone. Shawberry driving. Puts it up. No good. Mason Gamble grabs the rebound. Trucker's looking to push. Ferkel out to Gamble, spots up from three, and he knocks that one down. That's his first basket of the ball game. Leading scorer for the Truckers coming into this one. Finds the bottom of the basket here in the third quarter. <clears throat> Steffi spots up for three, Ooh. in and out. Rothar grabs the rebound. Mason Gamble out to DeMuth for three, in and out. Rebound grabbed by Gooding. Garcia. Isaac Garcia 
Nice little skip pass for Rogo under the basket, but unable to finish as Mason Gamble grabs the rebound. It's a nice pass by Garcia there. What is that, the last four opportunities they've come up empty down there? Uh -huh. Long drawn out offensive sets. Again, no shot clock at this level. You were holding on to a 10 point lead. And that's one of the things that doesn't get you anywhere, especially when you get towards the end of the season, that playing not to win, not to lose type of situational uh, basketball. You gotta just continue to rock it. Build on runs that you create and play off the hot hand late. Gamble into the paint, off shots no good. Rebound tipped around and last touched by the Truckers. So Gamble's shot was no good, Chapin's putback was no good, and the Tornadoes now come away with it. 3.30 to play here in the third quarter. Seven point lead for Tim and Columbian. Working around the perimeter here. And if you're tipping Columbia and you got to get one of these guys in rhythm, you've got tremendous contributions by your bigs and off the bench, but uh, nobody really in double digits quite yet. Well, Logan Gooding's got 12, but he has been and sitting down cold. since the uh, since the mid part of the second quarter. 12 very early, yeah. <laughs> Rogo, left wing. Rogo under the basket, put it up off the glass, put it in, and drew the foul. Bryce Rogo will go to the Buckeye IT Services free throw line. Chance to convert on a three-point play. Came up with a, come up with the points now off that long drawn out possession once again. Bryce Rogo. Seven points here tonight. Make it eight. Tornadoes extend that lead back out to double digits. 39-29. 2.32 left here in the third quarter. Jordan Perriott checking back into the game for Norwalk. As Landon Ferkel takes a seat. Gooding with the steal. And oh, Perriot gets it back. And a poke away by Shawberry into the open court. Up with the shot. Oh, up and under. No good. Shawberry gets the rebound. Puts it up. Puts it in. And draws the foul. Zach Shawberry. I don't even know how he got the rebound there. Yeah, there was three Norwalk <laughs> truckers down there competing for it. He fought for that one without a doubt. Shawberry with those long, lengthy arms leading the SBC Lake in blocks per game. As he gets that one to go, three-point play for Zach Shawberry. And he's now got seven points here. Kick out shot for Ferkel is no good. That one was in and out. Gamble oh. gets the put back on the floater and got that one to go. Mason Gamble now with five points for the Truckers. One thirty to play here in the third quarter. Tornadoes with it. Isaac Garcia driving. Kick out to Rogo now. Around the perimeter they go. Shawberry cross court for Garcia. Now Shawberry all by himself on the right wing. No good. Rebound grab by Mason Gamble. Dalton Chapin pulls up mid range jumper. That one was wet. Yeah.
Garcia with it. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Tornadoes leading by nine. Isaac Garcia drives with the kick out on the right wing. Gooding with the oh, save. Wow. What a heads up save there by Logan Gooding. You can tell they want to get that last possession and get that shot off by Gooding from the wing. Isaac Garcia calls for the screen, now rolls away from it. Rolls the baseline, under the basket for Shawberry, oh, that pass tipped. Gamble with it, half court shot oh. off the rim and no good. And that's gonna be the end of the third quarter. Tiffin Columbian leading 42-33. We'll step aside, take a quick timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free, and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Sam Shelt Palm, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1132. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. We're back here at Tornado Alley. Nate Mullins and Tommy Hall on the call with you. We got the wizard Greg Kinn on the ones and twos and Zach Blythe on the overhead camera. Thanks for tuning in here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. We start the fourth quarter of action. Stephen Columbian leads Norwalk 42 to 33. Truckers have possession here as we start the fourth quarter. Landon Ferkel over to the right wing for Garrett DeMuth. Ben Rothar, Mason Gamble, I'd and ex I'd expect that after a lackadaisical third quarter, both teams Ooh. very pretty clean, not allowing too many fouls. They should really dial up here down the stretch as this one's going to turn into a barn burner. I can feel it. Mason Gamble got that one to go. He's got seven points here. Norwalk's got to force the Colombian hand here. There you go. Gooding had that one stolen away. Mason Gamble drives to the basket, put it up. No. Oh, wow. A nice little pass there as he went behind the back. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by. That was off of Dalton Chapin. Tiffin Columbia with the basketball. Seven point lead inside of seven minutes to play. Garcia, skip past to Gooding under the basket. Put it up, put it in. Brady Gooding. Gives him seven points here tonight. And a reach in foul is gonna be called on Jack Nula. That'll be his second foul, the first team foul. Ferkel, <laughs> cut off by the defense before he's able to make it inside. Ben Rothar working on Rogo. Oh, nice oh, yeah. move, but unable to finish. Oh, but Chapin, Chapin there to clean it up. And Dalton Chapin chips that deficit back down to seven. Yeah, the Columbia's gonna hold on to the ball. Norwalk's going to try to create their own opportunities with it. They have a few they can get away with right now. And that one foul on the play called on Rothar. Ben Rothar. That'll be his second foul. First team foul for the truckers here in the fourth quarter. 
Shawberry checking back into the game. Looks like he's going to be in for Jack Newlove. Rothar is 6'4". That's a good, like, kaiju name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rothar. And Rogo fouled on the shot attempt. That's going to earn him a trip to the free throw line. Rogo, that's close. That is close. That sounds more like spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Rogo at the bright at the uh, Buckeye IT Services free throw line knocks that one down. He's got 11 points here tonight. And that one in and out on the second free throw. And Rothard driving to the basket, put it up off the glass. Calls no, the shot. but before the shot, there's a foul on the floor. Goes against Brady Gooding. That'll be his first and the second team foul. Actually, his second foul. Oh, wow. Oh, nice poke away oh. by New Love, but unable to finish. Rothar with the floater, no good. Shawberry grabs the rebound for Tiffin Columbia. Uncharacteristic night for Rothar. Three points here. I mean, he's just a little heavy on the touch here tonight. Yeah. Normally, he can just float down to the basket. There's nothing, uh, nothing going for him here. These rims can be unforgiving for... Guys with strong touch around the basket, you know what I mean? Yeah. You almost got to have that velvety touch. Just like, oh, <laughs> I wanted to say, <laughs> I wanted that one. And there's Brady Gooding with the cleanup. And Gooding's got seven points here. Cross court under the basket Ooh, now. Chapin. Oh, what a nice finish by Dalton Chapin, but the pass. A ball movement from the Norwalk truckers there. As I don't think that ball stopped for any more than a half second in anybody's hands. Shawberry, now Rogo works it over to Garcia. Heads up play by yeah. Garcia. That's the senior experience there you get from Isaac Garcia as he draws the double team and in danger of that backcourt violation, wisely calls the timeout. So we'll keep it right here for this timeout. We'll use this time to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here. We want to thank Cadet Mexican Restaurant, Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Plasonite 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric, all proud sponsors with us right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Again, can't thank those sponsors enough as it's a full weekend of basketball here on Heart of Ohio Sports as we'll be back in action tomorrow night as well, bringing you a thrill-up matchup from the uh, Commonwealth of Sycamore as Hopewell Loudon makes the trek over to Sycamore for a showdown with the Mohawk Warriors. Tommy Hall, Zach Dillon on the call for that one. That's going to be a good one. Both of those teams pretty evenly matched. Yeah, in our inaugural season on Heart of Ohio Sports, the Mohawk Warriors, they made one heck of a run last season. Yeah. Especially down in the postseason. It'll be exciting to see their, them uh, back on the court this year. Garcia with the drive into the paint, put it up off the glass, no. And the rebound tipped, grabbed by New Love, but he saves it right to Dalton Chapin. Truckers have it. Gamble drives and I think they're gonna get a foul on Garcia. Yes. 
Isaac Garcia called on the foul. That's his first. Third team foul against Tiffin Columbian here in the fourth quarter. Perry out over to Gamble for three. <laughs> Mason Gamble. And Gamble's now. from behind the arc <laughs> and knocks that one down. 329 remaining, completely different strategy, completely different mindset down the stretch as we talked about. And this first na this time out brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. But Tommy, this one's just been, you know, Tornado's kind of pulled away in the first quarter, and they've been sitting in cruise control for most of this one. But it seems like these truckers have kind of engaged a little bit more defensively here in the fourth quarter, and they're getting some good opportunities on the offensive end because of that. Oh, absolutely. The truckers trying to make the Tornadoes pay for a kind of being slow in their sets offensively, and uh, Norwalk's been able to capitalize off of those uh, off of those possessions, those turnovers that they've been able to come up with to really uh, chip away and get back in this one after facing a 11-point uh, deficit at the start of this fourth quarter. Well, I'm able to hold out that lead for the majority, but now, as you said, Norwalk starting to... Ah, Garcia going to get called for the travel. You guys can see from the coaching staff down here, he's really telling his team, Norwalk over here, he's like, go get him, double team him, triple team him. You keep seeing a lot of that. They're bringing that pressure here. Like. Oh, yeah. And that's where you got to be, you got to be heads up as a squad to be there for your teammate, to be an outlet. Ferkel pass over to the corner for DeMuth for three. No. Rebound tipped, grabbed by Perriott. Perriott kicks it out, Chapin for three. No. Shawberry grabs the rebound for Tiffin Columbian. And once again, those rims very unforgiving the hot for the truckers. Of, the hot hand of Chapin accounted for 16 tonight. Hey, see the instructions from the coach <laughs> again. Trying to bring that pressure. Doing a great job of instructing his team down here. Got a reach in called on Landon Ferkel. That'll be the third team foul. And the third foul on Ferkel himself. 2.33 left to play. Brady Gooding to inbound for Tiffin Columbian. We got a substitution here as Casey Cromer checks in for Landon Ferkel. Gooding looking to inbound, gets it into the backcourt for Isaac Garcia and a foul. He's going to go against Casey Cromer. Checks in quick, gets a foul quick. His first foul, but the fourth team foul means that the next foul on Tevin Columbian will put them at the line. So I don't know if Norwalk going to employ the hack a tornado strategy from this point on. Logan Gooding with it. Shawberry now. Driving <laughs> under the basket for Rogo. Put There's... it up off the glass. Put it in. And draws the contact. Bryce Rogo. Rogo go to the line. He's got 13 points. Looking for 14 here. Capitalizes on the three-point play. 14 points here for Bryce Rogo tonight, leading all scorers for Tim and Columbian. Mason Gamble with it. And he's going to be fouled on the floor. Brady Gooding called for the foul. That's his third. Wow, I didn't even think about it, Nate. On that shot down there, that was the fifth foul against Norwalk. I didn't even think about that being the fifth one right then. Yes, sir. Tim and Columbian with their fourth foul, so one more for them. We'll put the truckers at the line. Ferkel to the paint, up with the shot, off the glass. 
And Landon Ferkel gets that one to go. Truckers trail by six now. Inside of two minutes to play. Garcia is going to be fouled in the backcourt, and that will put him at the line. Isaac Garcia on the season. 14 of 35 from the free throw line, just 40% on the season for the senior guard. It's part of the reason why this team struggles from the free throw line. There's a lot of individual guys who, you know, they just not really shooting that well from the line this year. But hey, I tell you what, when it matters, you can count on Isaac Garcia as he knocks that one down. 51-44. Now, do you think that foul came in quickly all the way back here because Columbia's been playing keep away here? late in this game and they said, hey, we're not wasting no more time. Come on, we want yeah. that ball. <laughs> or if they're gonna put somebody at the line, maybe that's who they wanted to be at the line, you know, maybe they... Yeah. I mean, because Columbia's done a good job but just, like I said, playing keep away, trying to keep the ball in their possession. A big time steal there by Garcia. Into the paint, up with an assist and no good. Well, they're keeping the possession. So they got they're it going. The foul. And they're trying to keep this possession. Yeah. Run some more clock out here as Mason Gamble's going to get called for the reach in. Yeah, I mean, if you can do a good job of keeping that ball and keeping it moving, they're going to have to foul you. <laughs> yep, <today>. absolutely <laughs> right. Brady Gooding will go to the line. The poor truckers are chasing taillights down the stretch <laughs> now, literally, as Coleman just trying to play keep away. And Gooding unable to hit the first free throw on the season shooting 25 out of 40 for 63% coming into this one from the free throw line. And he gets that one to go. I'll put that up. Tornadoes lead by eight. Stolen away, but Gamble gets it back for the truckers and throws it right to Brady Gooding. Gooding drives, baseline, under the basket, Garcia, and a foul is gonna be called on the truckers. And Tiffin Columbian trying to close this one out and put an end to that seven game losing streak here. And more importantly, put them at four and four in league play. Garcia unable to get the first free throw to go. And unable to get the second. So 0 for 2 from that trip to the Buckeye IT Services free throw line. Chapin shot. Swatted out of bounds. <laughs> Zach Shawberry. He's got to have at least three blocks tonight. Perriott. Down to a minute to play. Truckers trail by eight. They got to make something happen here. Garrett DeMuth. And it's going to be an off-the-ball foul on Isaac Garcia. That'll be his second foul. But that will put Mason Gamble at the free throw line. I like how when the clock gets to under a minute, it shows that tenth of a second. It puts more pressure on you if you look at the clock spinning so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mason Gamble knocks down the first free throw, gives him 11 points here tonight. Gamble shooting 59% from the free throw stripe, and Travis Kinn wants to take a timeout. Going to ice the free throw shooter here. 52-35 <laughs> is your score. This time out brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. We use this time to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here. Thank you to Cadet Mexican Restaurant, your legacy federal credit union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Last Night 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Ross Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Volte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Freeman Collision, and Burns Electric. All proud sponsors with us right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. 
Mason Gamble at the Buckeye IT Services free throw line. Chance to make it a six point ball game. And he got that one to go. 53.1 seconds left. Rogo over to New Love. New Love, Gooding, under the basket for Shawberry, and a nice little give and go. Because he got it to go there. Perriott, nice drive to the basket, puts that one in. And a full timeout taken by Norwalk. We'll keep it right here. 36 seconds left in the ball game. Tornadoes lead by six. Now they'll have the possession coming out of this timeout. But if you're Norwalk here, how do you trim this down and get back into this one, put it to within a one possession ball game? I think you might have a one attempt to kind of smother and get a poke out here. But again, if you're forced into fouling, you know, you give the Tornadoes one or two more attempts at the free throw line. That's going to put you to bed. Oh, yeah. Again, 36 seconds, still a, longer than a month of Sundays here at the high school level. But if the Tornadoes are able to take care of that possession, no shot clock here at the high school level allows you to kind of call your shot down. Especially with the clock and so little time on it now. And if you're tipping Columbia, you got to take advantage of those free throw opportunities. If they're going to put you at the line, you got to step up and sink them. Uh -oh. Camera went out. Bryce Rogo. Inbounds to Zach Shawberry. And I don't know what happened with our camera. I think he's trying to take it up there. Oh. Might have to go take care of this here. Sorry about the, uh, well, just coming out of that timeout, he said uh, Noah could come out, get into that foul trouble a little bit, maybe get another shot at it. But Shawberry, after draining both of those free throws, I think that may be about all she wrote there for the go. truckers. <laughs> as oh. Chapin, though, drains it! Wow. The three-point land, right as the camera comes back. <laughs> Catching all of that. As Norwalk goes into the timeout. All right. Four We're point back. game now. Jeez. Woo! What a time for the camera to go out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Again, they missed the uh, Zach Shawberry uh, free throws, which kind of, you thought, put this one almost out of reach, but Chapin with a huge three point play right down the stretch. That's what we talk about. He's, Anything can happen in these last 36 seconds as Tornadoes clutching at Pearl trying to come away with the win here at home after a seven game losing streak. Trying to right the ship here at the end of the season as this timeout brought to you by First National Bank of Sycamore. Tornadoes have led by as many as 12. Truckers have trimmed that down to just a four point deficit here with 20.2 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Tornadoes have possession coming out of the timeout. Rogo, inbounds to Gooding. Gooding, it's gonna be fouled. As Perriot called on the reach-in foul. Gotta put Brady Gooding at the free throw line. 
Gooding's got 10 points here tonight. A good time to add some more. That's right, there's one. Makes it a five point ball game, 56-51, 17.1 seconds left. No good on the second, but he tips the rebound around enough to waste a couple seconds there. DeMuth pulls up from the right, from the left Whoa. wing for three. And it's a two point ball game. Discrepancy with uh, with the clock supposed to stop there. I think it didn't stop yeah, right away. It was supposed. Well, there's here's the thing. They're not supposed to stop the clock, but because there was an interference there in the oh, I get, in, yeah in well, the out of bounds the ball. Yeah, yeah. I was say they're not supposed to stop the clock on an inbound. They, that's right. I didn't think so. And that's the ball game. Are they saying they caused the delay game? Yeah, they're saying Norwalk tipped the ball out of bounds and caused the delay of game. And they don't have any timeouts left, I believe is what they said. And so. with no timeouts left, they had no choice. That's the end of the ball. That's the most, I don't, I want, I, That's bowling shoe ugly. I mean, this game. one of the craziest endings I've ever seen yeah. to a high school basketball game. And we had it for you right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. All right, well, we're going to step aside, take a timeout. We'll be right back with the post-game show brought to you by your Legacy Federal Credit Union, and we'll have our player of the game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, Federally insured NCUA. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre travel and in destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we are a truly local bank that is community-based and community-focused. We are invested in your success, and our team is here to help. First National Bank of Sycamore, banking that just makes sense. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. is here for all of your printing and design needs. From reunions to small events, to business apparel and even vehicle lettering, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Heart of Ohio Sports is owned by Mullins Entertainment and located inside Studio Squared in downtown Tiffin. The space features a state-of-the-art podcast studio, open for public use. Building a platform for creators is one of our top priorities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me or you can just listen to them.
When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on part of Ohio Sports. Class tonight, where imagination meets innovation. Unleash your creativity with precision 3D printing. Your ideas, our expertise. Class tonight, your 3D printing partner. At Heart of Ohio Sports, it's obvious. The first thing that comes to mind is sports. But we do a lot more than just cover live sporting events. When we want to watch our highlights from last night's game, there's only one place we go, Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. Heart of Ohio Sports is owned by Mullins Entertainment and located inside Studio Squared in downtown Tiffin. The space features a state-of-the-art podcast studio, open for public use. Building a platform for creators is one of our top priorities. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, or you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Class tonight, where imagination meets innovation. Unleash your creativity with precision 3D printing. Your ideas, our expertise. Class tonight, your 3D printing partner. At Heart of Ohio Sports, it's obvious. The first thing that comes to mind is sports. But we do a lot more than just cover live sporting events. When we want to watch our highlights from last night's game, there's only one place we go, Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching high school basketball right here on Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. And we're back here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Thanks for joining us here on the Post Game Show, brought to you by your legacy Federal Credit Union. Tivin Columbian takes care of business and takes care of that pesky losing streak, more importantly, as uh, they put that to bed, finishing this one 56-54 and improving that record to 9-10 overall, 4-4 four four in the SBC Lake division but what a big win here for Tiffin Columbian and uh, you know if you're a Norwalk fan you might say that was a controversial <laughs> ending there but uh, it doesn't matter if you win by one or a lot that's right at the end of the day the wins the win but man what a bowling shoe ugly <laughs> ending to that game as uh, well, go ahead and walk us through those closing final seconds once again Nate because I was even I was trying to catch up with it 
So you had Tim Columbian at one point, it was a 10 point lead there with about two, two minutes left in the game. And you're thinking, all right, they're gonna wrap this up. They're gonna take care of business. But these pesky truckers just would not go away. And they decided, all right, you know what? We're gonna make this a ball game. And here we have our player of the game. All go right. Finish up real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, finish up. But yeah, big time finish there at the end of the game. Uh, there was a poke away after the inbound or at, on the inbound play. Well, it, exactly. So, Bryce, you you were there. You saw it. You were up close and personal. Our player of the game brought to you by UIS Insurance and Investments in Plastonite 3D Printing, Bryce Rogo. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Doing great. So, what happened? Take us through that last play. What exactly happened? Because we didn't have a good angle up here, man. I couldn't see what was going on, but I know delay of game, right? Yeah, so they scored and they wanted to do a delay of game, but they didn't have any timeouts left. So without with no timeouts, you can't run that. Well, let me go ahead and put that on you for now yeah, so you can wear that during the interview. So uh, that's our golden, what do we call that, the winged cardinal? The winged cardinal. The winged cardinal belt. That's a player of the game belt. Every player of the game gets to wear that during the interview. So it was just one of the Norwalk players got called for play, for a delay a game, and that's the way the game ended. So walk us through that last couple of minutes because, you know, two minutes to go, I'm thinking, all right, this is pretty much in hand. You guys got a 10-point lead. Yeah trying to wrap this up and take care of that losing streak, but these truckers just did not want to go away tonight. Now, credit to them, too. Uh, you know, they're a tough team, and uh, like you said, with two minutes left, we thought, you know, we had it, but uh, they hit some shots down the stretch, and, uh, you know, we got lucky that we had a good enough lead there, and we finished the game like we should have. Absolutely. So talk about how good it feels to get this one, uh, get that losing streak in the, in the rearview mirror and start looking forward to now tournament time. Yeah, I mean... I think we just talked about it in there five weeks ago was our last win. So it's been a long time coming, and that's a testament to the coaches and those guys in the locker room that uh, have stuck through it and came into practice every day, worked their butts off. But it feels really good to get a win, and then I think we got tournament drawing on Sunday. So that's right. see where we land and see where we can go from there. All right, and you can only control what you can control at that point. But you're taking care of business one game at a time here, and that's what's important. But a big-time win for you. Uh, and down the stretch, I mean, you know, early on it was kind of a, you guys kept that 10 point lead throughout most of this game and it started to get tough. It started to get a little tighter down the stretch. That's when you kind of turned it on offensively. You had a couple of big key opportunities at the basket. You had a couple of three point plays. Just talk about the impact that you had on the game tonight and, uh, you know, your overall feeling from the game tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh my guys, my guards did a great job of getting two feet in the lane and then finding me down low, and uh, then it was just me on me to finish it and uh, make some free throws. And you did just that, and that's one of the things that I we mentioned in the pregame show is, you know, as a team, you're not exactly shooting the best free throw percentage-wise, but when it counts, when it counts down the stretch, you guys made your free throws when it mattered. Now, talk about that. Is that something that, you know, you guys work on extra in practice to try to improve, or? Yeah, I mean, we, we shoot free throws every day in practice. We... Uh, do some drills where it's more high high intensity and then we shoot uh, I think we've gotten better down the stretch lately of knocking them down when we need to but yeah definitely something we work on and we'll continue to work on in practice you guys have had some disappointing losses I'm just saying this from a fan's perspective looking at it from the outside I'm looking at some of the results and you're talking a lot of close games that you guys have not really come away with the end result that you wanted but this one another close game for you but you got the result you wanted yeah. here tonight how does that feel it feels really good like you said a lot of disappointing close losses lately uh, and to get a win but keep it uh, Get a win here, it just feels really good. Absolutely. So you got one more home game here in front of the home crowd. Yeah. What's that gonna feel like for you as a senior? I mean, one more time you get to lace them up inside this gym. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be awesome. It's our senior night, so uh, hopefully we can pack the stands and get a lot of people here and support us seniors and our team one last time on our home court. Mm. All right. Well, this will be our last broadcast regular season-wise for you guys, but uh, we'll look to pick you up when the postseason starts. We'll see what the postseason draw comes out as, and we'll see where the lay of the land puts you guys at. But we got a couple of things for you to take home here today. Tom, you got any questions for the young man? No, just again, another nice win by the Colombian Tornadoes, getting that chip off their shoulder as, uh, you know, this game started off, you guys kind of went to the well, so to speak, where you guys were able to implement and get that 10-point lead where uh, Logan Gooden really caught on fire early on, 12 points. And then when uh, you guys kind of made some adjustments there in the second half, you really found your way, kind of started catching on to lead off 
to lead all uh, Colombian scorers here tonight with 14 points. So again, you should f continue to flex your muscle as you hold that belt. And, uh, we got another prize for you to take home to put on the the mantle so you, at home. That's for you to keep, pal. So your brother got one. Now you got one. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, that's awesome. We can't wait to follow you and uh, continue to follow this great run by the Tiffin Colombian Tornadoes as. You know, again, you guys can make some noise in the tournament runs. Yeah, you, you, we've had the pleasure of watching you for four years. You know, you know what this is about. You yeah. know where you guys can catch fire and kind of catch on. And again, you know, th this is the time to do it. Yep. Another shout out. Uh, recently, you signed your NLI or NI, NLI, yeah, NLI. I got them mixed up, but you signed your NLI to. Tiffin University, and you're going to be a Dragon next year, so congratulations on that, man. That's a big-time step for you. So we have a gift card from UIS Insurance awesome. and Investments, Thank and you. then we get a Player of the Game T-shirt as well. This one brought to you by Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. Now, medium okay for That's you? That's perfect. Awesome. Thank Heck you. yeah, man. Any shout-outs for you? Uh, shout-out to all the fans that tuned in tonight, and shout-out to everyone who came tonight. Really appreciate you guys' support. Absolutely. All right, man. Great game. Thank you. And a big time win for Tiffin Columbian here tonight. All right, Bryce Rogo, our player of the game, brought to you by UIS Insurance and Investments and Placenite 3D Printing. We'll step aside, take a quick time out. We'll come back, wrap things up here from Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Once again, Tiffin Columbian 56, Norwalk 54. We'll be right back. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we are a truly local bank that is community-based and community-focused. We are invested in your success, and our team is here to help. First National Bank of Sycamore, banking that just makes sense. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. Keep it locked in. You're watching Hoops on Hoos. And we're back here at Tiffin Columbian Gymnasium. Nate Mullins, Tommy Hall on the call. You're tuned in here on the Post Game Show, brought to you by your legacy Federal Credit Union. Want to give a big shout-out to Greg the Wizard Kin for keeping us looking good here tonight. Also, big shout-out to Zach Blythe, running the overhead camera here for us tonight, keeping everything looking good. And you can't look as good as this right here, baby. Let me tell you, it's a million-dollar <laughs> duo combination right here. But, Tommy, let's talk about the future for this team because Tiffin Columbian you know tournament draw coming up on Sunday what do you think the future holds for this t tornado squad especially after a big time win here tonight to kind of right the ship I think it's one of those situations where you had a lot of production by all your bigs here tonight and you had some quality uh, minutes off your bench to where they they uh, you had production everywhere you, yeah you were able to get guys to start clicking work together and uh, you're able to get yourself out a nice run and lead and maintain to that for the majority of the game and that's what you kind of got to do when you get into these tournament games is you know again you not so much play with reckless abandon but you got to play like there's no tomorrow because that's literally what's on the line and have a league championship and then going undefeated and all the other stuff didn't happen to for you and even if it did it doesn't matter squat once you get into the postseason, because it's winner go home once you get to that point. And that is a great point here. As we get ready for tournament play, just three regular season games left for Tiffin Columbian and just two regular season broadcasts left for us as we'll be live tomorrow night. Tommy, you mentioned it. As Zach Dillon and Tommy Hall be live on the call from Mohawk Gymnasium for Mohawk versus Hopewell Loudon. And then our final regular season game of the year next Friday as we bring you Mohawk versus Seneca East. So a couple of Mohawk Warrior games to end our schedule here. But uh, we're getting ready for postseason play. And, folks, we've got our eyes on a couple of local teams, a couple of girls teams that could be making some noise in the postseason, a couple of local boys teams could be making some noise. We've got our eyes on a good, a couple of good teams, and we're going to be trying to follow them on their run through the postseason. But we all, always try to cover as much as we can in the area. And if you're trying to get on board with us, well, hey, shoot us an email, hoosbroadcasting at gmail.com, or you can just give us a call, 567 207 5041, or message the page directly and ask about how you can get on board with the winning team here at Heart of Ohio Sports. Tommy, any final thoughts here as we wrap this one up? 
No, absolutely. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Like, subscribe to our Facebook or YouTube page, please. That's uh, again, that's so paramount and so important yes. to continue to allow these uh, streams to be live and paywall free. I know that we get a lot of support from Facebook land, but if you could go do us a favor, make sure that you're subscribing on our other platforms and getting the word out that said, hey, our friends at Heart of Ohio Sports, they got tournament basketball for you all, all winter long, and it's live and paywall free thanks to our great sponsors, which we'll run through one last time before we get out of here. Absolutely. I want to thank Chicotet Mexican Restaurant, your legacy federal credit union, First National Bank of Sycamore, Studio Squared, Steinmetz Signs and Graphic, Inc., Buckeye IT Services, UIS Insurance and Investments, Placidite 3D Printing, Mullins Entertainment, Heather Hunker, Travel Advisor with Magical Moments Vacations, Five Star Maintenance, Linda S. Ritzler Accounting, Klaus Electric, Sarah Risen, Century 21 Bolte in Tiffin, Fiesel's Frame and Collision, and Burns Electric. All proud sponsors with us right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. I want to thank my partner, Tommy Hall, for joining me on the call. Thank you to the wizard, Greg Kinn, for uh, keeping us looking good. And, of course, thanks to the overhead camera operator today, Zachary Blythe. Thanks to all of you for tuning in right here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Once again, Tiffin Columbian takes care of business and takes care of that losing streak as that comes to an end by a final score of 56-54 to 54 over the Norwalk Truckers. Thanks for tuning in here on Heart of Ohio Sports. Have a great night, everybody.